Hello and welcome to uh, first of a series of videos where we look at how best to spend £10 on the Atlantean treasure slot. Uh, most people don't have vast amounts to spend every time they play. So we're going to use £10 as a guide and we're going to use three different bet sizes and compare how we do with each one. Uh, we're going to start off with a bet size of £10 per spend but we're going to play through 100 spins for a total spend of £10. Um, we're not going to bother setting any win or loss limits for this because it's only a relatively small number of spins with a small budget. So let's see how we do in these 100 spins. We're going to straight off from the start there. My gut feeling on progressives is if you do have an amount like £10 to spend, you are far better off playing the most number of spins you can with that money than you are playing fewer spins for a larger amount. And my experience has found that it tends to be a lot more volatile and you tend to run out of money a lot quicker if you're playing for 20 or 40 pence per spin as opposed to 10. But this is what this test will do, you'll see whether that actually is the case, or whether we get lucky playing with different amounts of money. You can see at the minute we've only really had one decent win so far. Um, we're just slightly in debt so far, or made a loss. I do find it a little frustrating when you get the little teasers with the bars and the sevens where you're hit. Not quite enough to, to get a win in line. Um, and the gold pearls being collected give you a chance of triggering the jackpot prize when they're to landed. Um, no luck as yet though, but you can see that the, the clamshell is filling up. Now, even though they're non-winning spins, landing those pearls does give you a chance to trigger in the jackpot prize. Although at 10p per spin, the chances are not going to be that great. Um, as you can see, we've nearly just over the third of our spins now, and it's barely cost us a couple of pounds so far because we're, we're winning back just as much as we're losing, really. Which is why I think the, the lower amount, if you've got ten pounds to spend, is always the wisest option. I do like those little seven pence wins or whatever they are. They, they can add up over time. So we're at the halfway point now. We've spent just over a pound, I think, on our spin so far. Um, so you can see that for ten pounds, you should be able to get a hundred spins and still have a decent amount left in your account if you want to carry on spinning afterwards. There was a, a hard, hard stopper there with all those sevens. Didn't quite land, but never mind. Um, but you can see here just how non-volatile the game is when you play at this level and um, I'm hoping what you'll see in the other videos is when we up the price the game plays the same but because you're losing money at a quicker rate it can have a, a far bigger effect on your, your balance I 
It's been relatively quiet this session actually, I haven't had as many wins. Um, and we haven't had too many of those of Of course, I am hoping that the jackpot bonus wheel will trigger at some point. That's what everyone hopes when they play Atlantean Treasures. It has triggered three times, there's a good win. time I tapped. We've had three triggers in front um, And one of them was on this slot, the very first one. Um, first 16.4 million. Yes. You can see from the balance that of £88. Now this would be a decent spin if we could land some bars and sevens. You really want to land those uh, mermaid expanding wires with the sevens in the bars because that's when they really can take, even for small bets of, of 10 feet per spin. That boss didn't land on the last spin. Just five more to go now. Hold five pence there. And the final spin. And a win for which is always nice. As you can see, we played through £10 there. We've made a slight profit on the session. Um, so now let's compare how we do when we up the value of our spins to 20 pence and play through 50 spins at 20 pence. <laughs> 